Welcome to my channel. If you like my videos, then kindly subscribe, like, and watch. Thank you. Welcome back. Problem 4-3. So the statement is composite shaft consisting of aluminium, copper and steel section is subjected to loading as shown. So you can see this is complete shaft that is composed of aluminium, copper and steel. All the values diameter and section modulus or modulus of elasticity not section modulus modulus of elasticity is given and loading is shown so you have to determine displacement of end a with respect to end d again the same as 4-2 problem displacement of a with respect to d and here additionally uh, it is given it is given that you have to find the normal stress in each section the cross sectional area and modulus of elasticity for each section is given neglect the size of collar b and c so let's start with the uh, solution and first we will write what to find so i have to find the displacement of point A with respect to point D clear we have to find the sigma AB sigma normal stress sigma BC and sigma CD so as we know that for finding the elongation we have formula sum of PL divided by AE there so I have to find the load in each rod or uh, shaft of aluminium copper and steel so first I will section it at this point clear so for rod for shaft AB that is aluminium aluminium shaft clear I will draw the free body diagram so you can see at one end the load is two kips two kips so here PAB will be equal to two kips in order to bring it in equilibrium for rod for short BC that is about copper so I will cut it over here so I will draw the free body diagram so this is let's say uh, this is collar this is rod AB here the load is 2 kips at this end the load is 3.50 kips and here load is 3.50 Kips. we have to find this load PBC now you can see this load is in right direction positive 3.50 3.50 it will give you 7 and this is 2 so in order to bring it in equilibrium we have to make this as 5 this will be equal to 5 kips because 5 plus 2 in this direction is 7 and 3.5 3.5 is 7 in this direction so PBC is equal to uh, 5 kips now for uh, shaft CD which is steel okay, clear I will cut it over here and will draw the free body diagram so we'll start from the right so here it is 1.50 kips so in order to keep it in equilibrium there will be 1.50 kips and this will be equal to PCD now I have all the values of P in short A, B, B, C and C, D I can easily find the elongation of point A or displacement of point A with respect to point D so starting from the first in this shaft the load is tensile so it will be equal to 2 kips so 2 into length is 18 P this is P this is L divided by area area of this rod that is given as 0 0.09 and E is this one uh, so I will write the multiplication of these two 
so area is equal to 0 0.09 and modulus of elasticity for aluminium is 10 into 10 is power 3 now for uh, copper rod you can see this is copper the load is again the compressive load PVC is compressive so it will be equal to plus minus 5 into length is 1.2 12 inch 12 divided by area into E so area of copper rod is 0 0.12 I will show you in a while and modulus of elasticity 18 into 10 is to power 3 so let me show its area area is 0 0.12 and E is this one similarly E for steel and area of CD is again here note it because I will write it down plus also this PCD is in compression clear so uh, this will be also negative minus 1.50 into length of this rod is 16 inch so 16 divided by area of steel was 0 0.05 we will cross check it also and modulus of elasticity is 29 into 10 is to power 3 area is 0 0.06 not 0 0.05 so this is 0 0.06 so when you calculate this you will get displacement of point A with respect to point D which will be equal to minus 0 0.0 0 0.0157 inch so negative sign means that A moves toward D A moves toward D I will repeat it due to this loading this point due to this loading this point A will move toward point D now we will move toward our next section that is about to find the uh, normal stress in each shaft so sigma AB will be equal to PAB divided by area of AB again PAB is given 2 kips and area of rod is given of aluminium rod is given so 2 divided by area of aluminium rod is 0 0.09 we have given over here Clear. so when you calculate it it will be equal to 22.2 KSI similarly for sigma BC equal to PBC divided by area of BC so PBC is 5 kips and it is 5 kips divided by area is equal to 0 0.12 so it will be equal to 41.7 KSI and for sigma CD equal to PCD divided by area of CD so PCD is 1.50 kips so 1.5 divided by area was 0.06 inch square square inch so it will give you 25 ksi so i will conclude we have find the displacement of point a with respect to point b which give you this value and it means that a moves toward d we then find out the normal stress in b a b shaft normal stress in shaft b c and normal stress in shaft c d i hope uh, this problem uh, is very easy and you can you are able to solve such type of question thank you for watching